Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. And Marianne behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And today, sister, we are going to make a mushroom noodle ring. How does that sound? Sounds good. That's using our noodle, right? Right. Well, it's a mushroom noodle ring, so you're probably wondering, what is the ring, right? Right. So the ring is a ring mold. Now, Mayor, I know these are not unfamiliar to you. No. Nope. But let's show our food friends. This is a stack of various size and shapes of ring molds. Here's a little small one. Um, we're going to use one pretty much like this today. Here's one in, look at that, in copper tone. Anyways, these were very popular uh, in the 50s and even into the 60s. Um, and they are basically used to mold uh, any kind of uh, food that uh, you would generally bake. Uh, and this is going to be a baked dish. I even got, look at the size of this, this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, anyways, these are really handy. I, you find them all the time at the thrift stores. I picked these up over the years and um, have an assortment. So we're going to do a ring mold today, a mushroom noodle ring. But they're not just for baking. No, they are not. Uh, I actually, for years, whenever I use the punch bowl, and Marianne, you know this, I make an ice mo ice ring in one of these molds. I'll put some water down, let it freeze for a little bit, then maybe put some uh, fruit, like orange slice, lemon lime slice, maraschino cherries, more water, and keep layering. And then you unmold it, and you have this beautiful ice ring that you can put right in the center of the punch bowl. And as it melts, the uh, the fruit comes out. You have a little extra little bonus in your fruit, your punch cup. And you can use them for Jello. Yes, you can. You can great for Jello. A lot of uses. You're right, man. A lot of uses. So the recipe I'm going to use is out of this book. Check this out. And the story behind this book is my boss uh, came into my office last week and said, um, do you know what day it is? And it was Wednesday. And I said, yeah, it's Wednesday. He says, and? He says, it's, you know what that means, Mayor? It, it's Prince Spaghetti Day. <laughs> See, I didn't remember and you did. And he was, yes, Prince Spaghetti Day. Anyways, he was cleaning, um, going through some things, and he found this, and he thought that it was probably his grandmother's. And it's a cookbook from Prince Golden Macaroni Recipes. The copyright is 1951, Mayor. Okay? So it's, what, 72 years old. Huh? Yeah. And anyways, a lot of great dishes and then I saw this one for the mushroom noodle ring. Look at that illustration. Isn't that great? And I said, I'm so making that. And that's what we're going to make today. So I want to say thank you, John, for this gift. I love it. Um, I appreciate you thinking of me and passing it along to the Cavalcade Cookbook Library. And we are cooking out of it today. So first thing you got to do with your mushroom noodle ring is do your noodles and it calls for egg noodles and Marianne here's you know I'm using just these are called broad uh, egg noodles and it calls for one half of a pound but it says to break them up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the potato masher here you hear that yeah. and we're gonna just crunch down on these I don't want them too small but we'll break them up a little bit. Okay. That's good, I think. And now I've got a pot of boiling water. And we're going to put our noodles in here. And we're going to cook them until they are nice and tender. Um, 
and then we'll drain them. And you know, Mayor, when you're cooking pasta, uh, noodles and that, it always is good to put a little salt in the water um, and help season the noodles up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we will let that uh, let the, that come back to a boil, cook those egg noodles. Shouldn't take a lot of time. And in the meantime, I'll get the rest of the ingredients together. Here, Mira, here's what I've got. I've got three eggs. Um, I've got a cup and a half of shredded cheddar. This is a cheddar blend, white cheddar and regular uh, sharp yellow cheddar. I've got some salt and pepper, and here I've got a cup of scalded milk. Do you know what it means to be scalded? <laughs> Just to the boiling point? Exactly. Just, you, you heat the milk up just until the bubbles start to form around the edge of the pan, and then it is scalded. And so it's not, ha didn't, didn't reach a boil. And then, of course, you can't have a mushroom noodle ring without mushrooms. And we're going to saute those uh, as well. So we'll come back. Looks like our, um, our pot here mirror is at a good rolling boil. So we will uh, get these noodles cooked until they're tender. And then we'll drain them out and we'll put all of our ingredients together. We're making a mushroom noodle ring on today's Cavalcade of Food. Um, let's see, I've got our noodles draining back here, Mayor. So, we'll let them continue to drain. What I'm going to do is I'm going to temper these eggs a little bit, okay? So we've got this milk, which is on the warm side. And I'm going to slowly put it in with the eggs so that we bring the temperature. I'm worried about putting in um, anything too hot with the egg, right? Right. Okay. A little bit more. And then we're going to bring all of our uh, ingredients together. So, you know, this is a dish, Mare, that is also good um, for we're coming into the Lenten season, right? Right. So this is a good, this is a nice dish uh, if you want to keep it meatless. Uh, and, of course, you know, if you're just doing a vegetarian thing, that's then you know you're right there but let's see maybe a little bit more so okay yeah all right I think we are probably okay now I think we've gotten our temperature up to snuff so what I'm going to do is let me take this big bowl and put our eggs in here. And then let me add our cheese and our salt and pepper. That was a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And let me put in the rest of our milk then of course we need our our noodles so we'll put those in I love things with egg noodles in it, don't you, Mayor? Yes, I do. Talk about comfort food, right? Right. Okay. So it's, you know, cheese, eggs, milk. Now, it's all put together there. 
Now I'm going to get our ring mold, which I have greased with nonstick cooking spray. And we are going to fill it up with our mixture here. If I don't make too many. You know, it's not, if I'm not in the kitchen, it's not a mess, Mayor. Right. Okay. So let's do our. Let me get all of this in here. It should fit. Try to distribute it as evenly as possible. Okay, now, Marianne, our trusty 1954 um, oh, General Electric Liberator stove is up to 350 degrees, but we're not going to just put the ring mold in there like that. You know what we're going to do? No, I don't. We are going to put it, we're going to give it a bath. A water bath, that is. Okay? So, a lot of our food friends will recognize this technique from maybe making a custard or something like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a 9 by 13 baking dish. And I've had water here that I have warmed up. And we're going to, normally I would do this in the stove, but I want our friends to see just like that. Okay, come up about an inch on the side of the ring mold. So, we're at 350 degrees, and we're going to put our ring mold in the oven. And let's let it go for about 40 minutes or so. All right, honey. We are getting our mushrooms sauteed. I'll put a little S&P here in with our mushrooms. We've got about 15 minutes or so to go on our ring mold in the oven. And I just thought, well, let me get the mushrooms going. We'll let these cook down. You really don't have to use mushrooms here, even though, you know, the first time we do a recipe, we kind of like to do it by the book, don't we? Yes. And so, or, so sort of try it the way that the author of the recipe put it together. And they said mushrooms, and we love mushrooms, don't we, honey? Yes, we do. So we are going to have mushrooms. Uh, but certainly you could use any other kind of vegetable that you wanted to put in the center of the ring, uh, you know, anything would be good. Uh, you know, that you, something that you could saute or cook up, you know, even peas uh, would be nice. So, but we're going to stick with the mushrooms, saute mushrooms up in butter, I mean. Nothing wrong with that, is there, Mayor? No. Um, some bigger... Pieces. I bought the ones that are already sliced up. You could buy whole mushrooms and just chunk them up if you wanted to, but I went this route. So, okay, we're going to keep cooking these down, and then we'll come on back and get ready to take out our ring mold for our <laughs> mushroom noodle bake. That's what I was calling it. Mm -mm. Don't those look good? Yummy. And they smell good too, don't they, Mayor? Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm going to take the noodle bake out. So, getting a noodle bake, a noodle ring facial here. What? Okay. This 
you have to be very careful. Like so. Okay. Then, see some of those noodles got a little crunchy. We're going to take it out of the water and put it right there. Okay. Now, let me get a little knife. Something like a paring knife here. And just go, can you see how it's kind of separated from the edge? Yeah. But we're just going to give it a little, mm, can you smell the egg? Mm, yeah. Yes, and the cheese. I'm just going to make sure that it always helps to just go around like that. Okay. Mm, almost like a custard. Well, we had, did have eggs and milk, didn't we? Yes. Then, Mary, we're going to then trans transfer it onto a platter. And I have this that I have been keeping warm in the spare oven. And we're going to go like this. Okay, fingers crossed. Wow, look at that. Okay. Then we're going to take our mushrooms and we're going to put those right in the center. Butter and all. Boy, I could have done even more mushrooms, couldn't I? Yeah. I did a, an 8 ounce. But they shrink down. They do shrink down. Okay. So you might want to use a pound of mushrooms, folks, instead of, instead of just an 8 ounce mushroom. But I did also, Mayor, slice up a little tomato. And I thought, here, how does this look? Let's, let's doll it up with some nice tomato slices around the edge. You could always turn this ring out too onto some nice green, like lettuce, right? Mm -hmm. or, or something like that would be beautiful, spinach. But how's that? Well, I think that looks about good enough to eat, don't you? Yes, it does. So, here it is from 1951, our mushroom noodle ring. Now, what I'm going to do, Mayor, is um, let me grab a plate and come back, and we will give it a taste. Okay. Okay. Well, Mayor, what do you think? Time to cut in, right? Right. So, I'm going to just come in this way. We're going to take a piece. I want, can you get us a little side action there? You see the noodles and then you see the cheese. And look at all this beautiful custard inside yeah. the... Um, inside the ring. Then, you know what? We're gonna put some of these mushrooms, maybe a couple pieces of the tomato. There we go. So, let's, let's start with the star of the show. And that's our noodle ring. Wow. 
what does that remind me of? A little bit like mac and cheese. You thought it might taste a little like that, didn't you, Mary? Yeah. But not quite. Because it's got more of the custardy flavor to it. And if we have it with the mushroom, wow. Now it's almost meaty from the mushroom. This is delicious. I would say too that you could, this noodle ring is really a blank canvas. You could, in addition to what we've put in, you could put some nice fresh herbs in there if you wanted to. A little parsley mm -hmm. would be nice. Or if you were, you know, more partial to say, basil or something like that you could put that in there delicious oh my gosh Mir, you are gonna like this and she will get a nice big piece I promise mm -hmm. you someone wanted to make sure that I wasn't holding out Mare in one yeah. of our videos but what I love about this is when you have it with your veg whether it's the tomato or the mushroom it goes perfectly. Mm. Wow. Okay. I think you guys know I'm sold on this. I want to say thank you to my boss, John. Thank you, John, for sharing this with me. Um, one, it was just a beautiful gift. But look, this is just one recipe out of this book. And this thing's a hit, let me tell you. Um, so thank you. I want to thank my sister, Mary Ann. You're welcome. Um, who's working the camera for me today. And I want to thank our food friends, Mayor, for spending some time and hanging out with us as we made this 72-year-old recipe that i got to believe is as good now as it was then. Our mushroom noodle ring and... Um, a great, like I said, a veg vegetarian option, a great option for Lent. Uh, let's remind them of the website, Mayor, cavalcadofood.com. The recipe will be below the video in the description. And we will look forward to seeing you again real soon, right back here on Cavalcade and of Food. <laughs> I almost forgot the name of this show. Anyways, thanks everybody. Stay warm and stay well, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.